Oregon Ducks catcher Bennett Thompson joins us. Rich Burke here at PK Park in Eugene. The Ducks sweep the Arizona Wildcats. Thompson catching all but one inning in this series. You just moved into the starting role a couple of weeks ago. Uh, what does it mean to you to get this series sweep? Bennett Thompson, our Zayo connection here. Oh, it was awesome. You know, um, our pitchers threw great all weekend, and that's really what carried us, you know. Uh, Isaac throwing great yesterday, Jace today, and then RJ and Schiff on uh, on Thursday, you know. It was awesome. Going into the week, we just uh, – our emphasis was on having fun as a team, you know, not uh, stressing out, but just going out and playing the way that we know we can. And I think we did that this weekend, and that's what resulted in uh, getting three wins. Jay Stoffel today, seven plus innings. He'd never gone more than four and two thirds at the D1 level. What did he bring today? Oh, he just was mixing pitches, hitting spots. You know, he's a super competitive guy. You know, he he was begging coach to not take him out of the game there in the eighth. But uh, it was awesome getting to catch him because he was dialed all day. You know, from the start, um, and obviously retiring what some like 16 straight batters. You know, that's pretty special. Um, you know, credit to him and just his ability to compete in the zone. That's what was awesome today. What a series for you. Yesterday, you, you had your first career collegiate home run. Also had a stolen base. What are you more proud of, the home run or the steal? You know, uh, the good answer is the, the home run, but uh, the stolen base was cool, too. You know, trying to put an end to the myth that catchers can't run. So, uh, you know, that was definitely cool to be able to get both yesterday. Growing up in southern Oregon, down in Medford, and, of course, Jay Stoffel from Roseburg. How about... Uh, uh, an all Southern Oregon battery here at the D1 level doing what you guys did. Oh, it's super cool. You know, Jace and I have played against each other since we were 10, 11 years old. And so to be on the same field wearing the same uniform is definitely special. Uh, something we've talked about, you know, there's not a lot of not a lot of guys here from Southern Oregon. So it's awesome that we're able to go out here and play the game we love on the same team this time. So, so you're a true freshman, but you're really advanced. And I think part of that comes from having played summer ball against collegians for a couple of years. Bill Rao is a friend of mine, broadcast partner here on Pac-12 Network. He's doing the series between UCLA and Oregon State this weekend. But I know that you played for him with the Med Medford Rogues a couple of years ago, then last year in Bend. How much did that prepare you, prepare you for the collegiate level? That helped me so much, you know. Um, just being around guys who have been at the college level, have done it before, um, and, you know, facing good pitching but also catching good pitching, that's a good uh, – that's a, something that prepared me a lot as well. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing I took away from the last few summers is just how to prepare myself to go out and be the most competitive I can every day. And uh, I think that's what's helped me, you know, at this level with the Ducks. So. What's your major here at Oregon? Uh, currently, I'm pursuing mathematics, but that might change um, in the future. So we'll see next year if it's the same or not. I was talking with Mark Wazikowski. He said you're actually on track to graduate after three years. Is that true? If I stay on this major, yes. Uh, I took a few math courses in high school that gave me college credit, which uh, helped me towards advancing that in that major. So uh, hopefully, uh, you know, if I stay on that major, then yes, I could be done in a few years but I'm not rushing anything you know uh, just in, enjoying the experience enjoying getting a good education here so and also valedictorian at South Medford High School how do you balance academics and athletics uh, you know it's not always easy uh, but you know I was raised really well by my parents to take pride in whatever I do whether it's school or uh, or sports and so just allotting time to get better at both is I guess only way that I've been able to balance it so and what are your parents names uh, Greg and Kelly yeah I'm sure they're very proud congratulations on on a great series continued success good luck to the Ducks in the uh, Pac-12 tournament and then the NCAA tournament would love to see you guys in Omaha thank you very much